Hi and welcome to the Krusty Old Machinist. I am Bear Young, the Krusty Old Machinist. And today we're going to start a brand new channel with a very nice gift for you. I'm a firearms enthusiast. I like guns. And I do a lot of my own gun work, especially cleaning things. And uh, I needed a bore scope for a long time. But they're $1,500, which is more than I could afford because that's a whole nother gun. A nice one. And so I've been looking around for years to try and find some way to do a DIY borescope. So here's what I've come up with. This is an inexpensive endoscope from China. It's really a closed circuit television tester for security cameras and such. And as you can see, it has a flexible fiber optic, I think, device. And it has a little LED in the end. So you can poke this up and inside the bore of a rifle or a handgun and see inside the bore. And that's all well and good. But up until recently, they were too large to go into 22 barrels. This particular one is 4.5 millimeters, which 5.56 millimeters is uh, 22. So I figured finally I had to pull the trigger and buy one of these things. As you can see, you can see whatever this thing's looking at. Okay. Now the problem was once I put it down a rifle barrel like this, you can see that what you could see was interesting but that's straight down the the barrel or the bore of a brass tube that's for all intents and purposes perfect okay so that didn't really tell me what I needed to know I needed to look at the side of the barrel rather than lengthwise down the tube so uh, I didn't invent this or anything but I came up with a little mirror and a port. As you can see, in the end of this long brass tube, okay, and if you look right in there, you can see that there's a mirror that reflects the image to the side of the barrel rather than along the length. Well, that's fine too, except how do you make the little mirror? Well, I made this piece, which I just took out of that brass tube. This is a little steel mirror, and you can see I put a little step cut in it there, so it would go into the tube like that, and then I drilled a piece, a hole in the end of the tube. So that this little mirror piece would reflect an image down the tube to that camera I just showed you. And then I made the hole in the right place. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. And hopefully, since you can buy this for about $115 on eBay right now, um, Hopefully I can save you about a thousand bucks today. We'll see. You will need some equipment to do this job. You'll need a, a lathe and a surface grinder would be nice. Uh, we happen to have a surface grinder here. If you don't, it just means that your polishing is going to take a lot longer and be a lot more work. Now originally when I made this part, this little mirror, uh, the idea was to use a proper mirror, a glass mirror, and grind it, uh, actually glue it onto the 45 degree bevel, and then grind it in the surface grinder. But the glue kept failing. There's such a small amount of surface area here. 
and uh, after about 10 tries I'd had enough so I just bagged the whole idea of a glass mirror and I surfaced around the end of this thing flat and nice and then I stoned it and then I polished it and I'm going to show you how to do that you can do this other than the turning uh, you can do the polishing and everything pretty much with hand tools um, there's better ways but let's go through how to make one of these babies.